Hey you guys, it's GED question of the daytime and looks like we've got a word problem. Don't panic before you read it. That was Kate's first piece of advice. So here we go, let's read. The last six houses to sell on Robert Road sold for and $210,000. Based on these sales, what is the median home price on Robert Road? Okay, so a good piece of advice when looking at a word problem, know where you're starting and where you're going. Where you're starting, that's the information you've been given, and where you're going, what they're asking you to do with that information or what they're asking you to find. So I think I'll start with that. I see my question here. It says, what is the median home price on Robert Road? So they're asking me to find the median home price. And yeah, they're saying on Robert Road, but all the information I have appears about Robert Road. So it's not like I need to go distinguish. So I'll just say that we're looking for the median home price. And what have we been given? Well, the information we've been given are some home prices. We've got, it uh, looks like a five, oh no, six home prices over here. Okay. So first of all, uh, this is a, starts with a little bit of a vocabulary test because if you don't know what a median is, you're going to be in trouble. A median is a mathematical concept you have to understand. The definition of median is it's the centermost number in an ordered set. This is the way I think of it. We have a common English word median. If any of you drive, you've heard of a median. So think about it when you're driving, where's the median? Well, hopefully you know, <laughs> it's in the middle of the road. The median is that uh, usually a cement divider in the middle of the road there, or it could be a line uh, painted. Um, but that's the idea there. Um, it's center. It's in the center. And so when I look for the median, it is a center number. But be careful. It's the centermost number in an ordered set, an ordered list. So before I can find the center, I'm going to need to order these numbers. And what order should I put them in? I'm going to put them in numeric order, okay? So I'll start with the smallest one and go to the largest, but it actually really wouldn't matter. So if I went uh, smallest to largest or largest to smallest, the middle will still be the same, okay? But there's my first one. Um, that's the smallest number. Next smallest number in my list is 199,900. And I recommend that you guys cross them off as you go because one of the biggest mistakes students make is just losing numbers. Uh, let's see, next smallest number in this set is 205,000. And then 210,000. Uh, then we have 239,000. And finally, 254,800. And I'm looking for the median. So let's go looking for the middle of this set. Well, obviously, it's not these two on the ends. So one off the front, one off the back. It's not these two here, one off the front, one off the back. But I have a dilemma in this set. Can you see my dilemma? If I really want the perfect middle, there appear to be two in the middle. A lot of students make a really bad mistake. They go, well, it just must be one of them, and they just pick one of these numbers. And that's not the way the median works. I want the absolute dead center of this list. So what I have to do is I have to figure out exactly what number would sit here dead center between these two numbers. And so the quickest and easiest way to do this is to, I call it a mini mean. If you find the average of the two numbers, that will take you right dead center of them. So, be, and I'm only doing this because there's two numbers in the middle. If there had been one number in the middle, I would have found my median already. But since there's two, I'm gonna have to do some extra work to find the dead center of this list. So I'm going to find the mean of those two, the average of those two numbers. The way to do that is to break them up totally evenly by adding the two numbers together and then splitting the difference. 
breaking them up evenly. And then I'll find the dead center perfect middle of this group. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to bust out my TI-30XS calculator here. And I'm forced, first going to add those two numbers, 205,000 plus 210,000. I bet I could guess what the perfect center of this list is. Y'all know between 205,000 and 210,000, we're looking at about 207 something. Uh, that's what we should expect. And then I go to divide that by two. And indeed, I find out I'm right. The dead center of this list would be 207,500 dollars. That is the median home price on Robert Road. Great. If you have any questions about this, be feel free to drop them in the comments.